Hey friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and in this video I want to talk to you about building your first Christmas light controller and so this can be really intimidating to people. You get these weatherproof boxes, you gotta fit all your stuff into them and wire them together and all that jazz but truth be told it, it doesn't have to be difficult and I'm just gonna show you I was just making one the other day. I was making a couple actually for my display this year and I want to show you how I put them together, give you some tips, give you some tricks, let you know some things that I did to make life easier so that you can go ahead and build your own controllers. So with that, let's dive in. All right, Learn Christmas Lighting. So the very first thing that I've done that you can probably see, go overhead here, is just laying out my controller box, um, trying to figure out how to make all the stuff fit and make it make sense. So. This is my F48 box. It's going to live on my front porch. I just want to show you here. I basically went ahead and I said, okay, the F48 is the Cable Guard 1500, by the way, that it's inside. That's the plastic box. And the F48 itself is going to have the most cables going from it. So I wanted to position that on the side of the F48 that has all the cable glands uh, coming out of it, right? Or the 1500, sorry, that has all the cable spots coming out of it because it's going to have the most cables. Makes sense. I went ahead and I mounted that up center. Um, I could, I might mount it up to the top, probably about here, just so that I have room for all the cables to come in and to go their separate ways because on this side we're going to have, have power going on. Actually this is going to end up at the top because I actually have this 5 volt power supply for it. It's going to live there and plug in and take up some space along with the power coming into the box um, down here at the bottom. Then, on my other side, I've got my power side. So, in my particular display, where I have my F48 sitting on the porch, it makes sense to include a receiver board there and do four local outputs right there. So that means I've got this LRS350, this mean well, that's going to supply power to the smart receiver board. So I've got them on the same side of the box. It's also going to supply power to the um, the power distro board, the F8 distro, also from Pixel Controller, though other people make them. And so, my as I've talked about before with my display this year, um, and this will probably come out after my display's come and gone, but I'm going ahead and I'm doing four outputs from my boards, but then I'm power injecting after 150 pixels. And so that's what this second one is for. To bring that power all together and so that's how I've laid things out as you can see um, pretty basic I'm just gonna make sure it all makes sense kind of think through it for a minute or two think through all my connections um, as I wire things I'm gonna bring my wires that go side to side they're gonna come up to the top and come over and the reason for that being that this box is gonna sit tall ways it's gonna sit vertically right and so as those cables sag when I'm trying to close the door I want them to land in the middle. I don't want them to be falling out the bottom because that's a pain. And so I'm going to get these mounted. I'm just going to mount them with um, these screws that I got on Amazon. They are M2 sized or M3 sized. I'm just going to simply drill holes where I need them. You know, maybe two holes per item. I certainly don't need to mount this little power distro board with four mounting spots. I just don't think that's necessary. The mean well, I will mount with four though, because it's heavy. Um, and I'll make sure I have the right size screws for that. And then I'm gonna come back after I drill my holes, mount everything, and uh, have the wiring started and show you what I've done there. Hi friends, David back here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And I've now finished this controller, so let's take a look. Gonna pop it open here. And so one of the things you'll see uh, when people are posting controllers online is that there are folks who are trying to win a prize for the prettiest controller ever. Um, I am not in that camp because guess what? I believe, and I think you should too, that if it works well, it's organized, and it's easy to troubleshoot if, if you have any problems, you know, pull the pieces out, etc. then why does it matter how pretty it looks? So, take a look here. Um, things are laid out a little bit differently than in the last video. Um, I kind of tweaked some stuff around, moved the power over here, and um, I think I had it over there um, and the smart receiver was here but now it's over there so it, it's just what kind of made sense um, I just want to kind of go over what I've got here so you can see 
um, that basically I've got mains power coming in through an extension cord that I cut off here um, and then that comes in to the mean well um, it's not on right now obviously because I'm touching it then I've got a little power whip the the other half of that extension cord go into the power supply for the Falcon F48 um, I could have done this cleaner probably could have mounted like a little power supply here or a converter to go from 12 volt to 5 volt but that's not what I did um, and you know what um, both are valid approaches so then um, we've got our smart receiver board um, with four outputs tied into our F48 got one right here because that makes sense for my display and a Falcon power distro board with one whip hooked up um, oops I gotta fix that wire that's hanging um, and I'm gonna hook up four whips total but I haven't done that yet um, purely because they're in my attic <laughs> and then they all come out just to show you um, out here and I label them one two three and four for my um, data my smart receiver board so I will re I will uh, label the outside of this box a because that's what I'm calling it in my display and then that's a one through four and then nine is my uh, my shortcut basically my code for power injection so that's coming off the power board right there and anywhere I see a nine in my display I know okay that's a power injection I can inject power with that freely so yeah that's how it works guys um, that's the basics you can check it out here and um, I'll, I'll definitely be writing an article at some point with all of the details of everything that's in here I'll link to it below in the YouTube video as well so you can get that and uh, I hope that this helps you make a better display be sure to subscribe here on learn Christmas lighting and also head to learnchristmaslighting.com I've got a guide I want to put into your hands uh, to get you started with your lighting this season it's gonna give you a shortcuts in time and help you save money as well I'll see you guys over on the site thanks